My dog's staring at me right now and it's creeping me out. So please you stop staring at me please because I'm doing a vlog. Hi lovelies. Guys, we need to talk. This means we need to talk. Um, okay, so I, if you're not on my Facebook page, you need to go to Painful Clarity um, Facebook page and get on board because that's where I'm going to talk about a lot of like my deep dark secrets and giveaways and funny things that make me laugh. And so I need you guys to go there and like the page, and then all of my videos are automatically uploaded to there. So anyways, besides that, we need to talk. So today, something rather upsetting happened, and I'm going to talk about it because I feel like we have this relationship where we can talk about things, and I can come to you and tell you what upsets me, um, but today... Something came to an end, and it's just really hard for me to give it up and realize that that's no longer going to be in my life. And that is <sighs> the Angel Crawford series books. I am so depressed that this book is over. I have loved these books. It's White Trash Zombie. I love them, first off. It's a huge, huge aspect of the genre of zombie books that nobody has tapped into. And people came and copied it a little bit with like warm bodies, which was like a very cheap imitation. It did not work out, but it's where the main character is an actual functioning human being, but also a zombie. So, there's four books in the series, I want to say, and the third was so disappointing. I did not like the, like the, the way that she went with it. I did not like how she changed the storyline and made Angel Crawford as the main um, character. And I do not like how she changed her character so much. And, and they made her into this that kind of character, like kick-ass type character, which is fine. Like I like to have like female characters that are strong and like sassy like that, but they kind of like dulled down the rest of her because she, she's white trash. Like that's what made her so endearing and that's like what made me love her so much because I grew up in a very very small town and up north we call it Hicks and down south they call it country so I just loved her but this book which is forgive me if this is wrong but how the white trash zombie got her groove back and I absolutely loved it. I did have like complaints about it. It ended today and it was so sad. And I get so sad when I read books that I feel like I have like lost something. And I like grieve it a little bit. And I, I know that that's wrong and I know that that's really awful, but when you find a really good book like that, and especially when you read it, like, I pre-ordered this thing, like, so, for me, like, I have to wait at least another year to read the next in the series, and it's just, it's so hard, guys. Let me read off, because I know the, her first book is called, um, White Trash Zombie. I think the second one's called White Trash Zombie Gets the Blues. Um, okay, sorry. Hold your, hold your horses. Hold your horses. Um, oh, Diana Rowland is the, the author. I don't think I mentioned that. Okay, so anyways, the first book is called My Life as a White Trash Zombie. And that's book one. And then white, uh, even white trash zombies get the blues is two. And then white trash zombie apocalypse, 
was three, and then how the white trash zombie got her groove back. Um, she just has a really awesome sense of humor. Yeah, I just I gave the third book three stars, and that ain't joking because literally, like, if you ask me, like, my top five books or book series, this is in it. So, like, every other one I've done full reviews on them and five stars. Like, they are my jam. So, I, I use an app called Goodreads. If you get it, please let me know that you get it. And um, I can actually send you book recommendations on there. Um, you can see what books I'm reading, uh, what books I've read. You can see what I've rated things. You can see my reviews of books. My reviews are a little bit ridiculous because I actually write my reviews to myself. Um, I know that Tiffy and I talk about this a lot, but um, especially in series, she and I kind of gave up on series because I really got into the Divergent series and, and I had to go back and read the first two books to be able to read the third book. And it's just like, this is so much work to just read because I couldn't remember anything. So I actually write my reviews to myself, like to remember like what I didn't like, if a character dies, like just like mean things. And so if you read it, it's like, I don't really use punctuation and like, people might not know what I'm talking about, but I just, I just, uh, write it to myself so I can remember what I'm doing. So I think it's freaking awesome. I love it. Um, they also, uh, do some, but it's just a really awesome app. I don't get anything from talking to you or you guys downloading it. I just honestly want to connect more with you guys. Um, I know that not everybody likes leaving comments on YouTube, especially now that it's like connected to like Google Plus or something now. Um, but I really love the interaction with you guys. I get like the most heartfelt uh, letters and messages from you guys, and I just absolutely love it. And um, at this point, I've been doing this for seven months now, and I still don't really know what you guys like or what vlogs you guys like and. I really want to do stuff that you guys like, so um, me if it's me babbling like this, then that's great. And if it's giveaways or my obsession blogs, like I'm always up for anything because I know it seems easy, but it's really freaking hard to figure out something to talk about every day, especially when you haven't done anything. But yeah, if you get good reads, let me know, and um, I would love to do like a book club or anything like that. And just discuss books and even do like a series on my vlogs so it would be like my obsessions of books um so we could read together that would be cool but i don't know what you guys i don't know i don't know but please uh like my uh painful clarity site i'll have it in the description box down below um i just discovered that i had it still recently and i found some awesome messages um that are so sweet yeah i just want to interact with you guys more so either my personal facebook page which i actually don't really do that much on there um instagram on i'm on instagram all the time and um my fan page i am gonna get more into that and twitter not really active on my twitter just being honest i would love for you to just subscribe to all of them but um, yeah, so I think this weekend I'm going to be going shopping for some giveaway stuff. I'm going to do another giveaway because I just had a really fun time with that. And, um, this one's going to be smaller because that was a little bit crazy. That's my sad story, but I started, luckily I have a Janet E book, uh, e -book and, uh, I love her series, so I can kind of just go right into that. But my leg is falling asleep, so I'm going to stand up now and hopefully not fall. I hope you guys have a pain free, stress free day, and I'm sending you X double O's, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.